a good time for costumes and candy. Unfortunately, it can also be a dangerous time for your children. A state farm study found children are twice as likely to die on Halloween than any other day. 7 News' Tobias Rodriguez has more on what you can do to help keep your children safe. Halloween is meant to be a holiday of fun for parents and children, but a new report tells us there are some risks to watch out for. You heard Fred say a study found children are twice as likely to die on Halloween than any other day. A major cause of these deaths, you ask? The answer is walking in the street. In a study of over 4 million deaths over a span of 20 years, State Farm found nearly 70% of pedestrians were hit away from a crosswalk or intersection. These deaths aren't limited to young children either. Most of the fatalities were teenagers. Here are some safety tips. Dress in reflective tape, trick or treat in groups, and carry around a flashlight. Another thing to keep in mind if you are gonna be carving pumpkins today, it is very important to be careful with that too. There's some sharp objects, so some things to think about. Yeah, that is, you don't want small children with knives and no, <laughs> that's trying true. to carve their own pumpkins. And man, just be watching out if you are on the roads during that because you know little kids, they like to dart mm -hmm. across streets from one house to the other and yeah. just be extra careful about yeah. that one. Good Thanks. advice. Thank you so much, Tobias. All right, Sabila. Well, absolutely, guys. South Carolina will enforce also a curfew tonight to keep registered sex offenders off the streets while your children trick or treat. It will be in effect tonight from 5.30 to 9, but some counties have even more rules. In Greenville County, some convicted sex offenders will have to attend a counseling seminar until curfew is up. Other counties send agents to individual homes to make sure that the lights are <coughs> off and they aren't passing out candy. Parents are asked to check the sex offender registry going on before going out tonight. They start getting older, eight or nine, ten, you let them go alone and they don't know the danger, so you kind of keep them in the right neighborhood or away from certain houses. I think, I think people should be made more aware that there are, you know, sex offenders around. The sex offender registry allows you to see who is living within a three mile radius of your home. We do have a link to it on our website. Just go to WSPA.com.